Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday. But in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Today, my tea is Twining's Lady Grey. It is a black loose leaf tea infused with orange, lemon, and other citrus flavors. I prefer loose leaf tea over tea bags and that can be a debate among tea connoisseurs. If you like further information, there's a wonderful blog, Destination Tea, and I'll put the link in the description below. This is one of the teapots that I have in my personal collection. There are only about three. This was made in Japan. Absolutely lovely scene. This was a very well-loved teapot. I do not know the age of it but you can see that it was well loved and well used. Hello! Today we're going to finish a project I actually started this summer. I made these little ornaments way back in July. Over at Paper and Twine just a couple of weeks ago she did something similar and I wrote her and said that was so funny because I made these very similar ornaments this summer only the project wasn't finished yet. So now I'm completing this little project as I have just five days left before I start setting up for my first craft fair. Mrs. Paper and Twine is finishing up her 31 days of Christmas. I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. Here I am pinching the little wire loop as tight as I possibly can and then fixing it with glue because in just a moment I'm going to be threading it through the bead which will be the head. And that little wire loop will fit right in the center there and it will be glued fast so nothing will come apart. And then I put a little glue at the top. Just work it down. Hang them up as you go along so the glue dries inside the bead. And that's what the beginning stage of the little angel is going to look like. Now we're on to the next step. Now I'm down to the wire, literally. This is the last of my wire. My goal is to use up all of my supplies or as many of them as I can this season. And you're going to want to your wire roughly 11 inches long.
pinch this as tight as you can get it. We're going to smooth out the wire. And you may have to make a few adjustments, that's okay. Now you're going to pull that through just about where you think the shoulder should be on the little angel. Twist it and draw the wire toward the front. Draw the wings back, and the back will become your front once again. Twist the little wings. And then you're going to start shaping them. And there we have our little angel. I think they turned out very nice. That was a long afternoon. Now I'm going to take my little bags. I purchased these a hundred at a time for about a dollar ninety-seven, and I'm going to make that money go as far as I can thanks to my bag sealer. Now one of the reasons I'm bagging these little angels is because uh, people have a habit at the craft fairs of twisting things and breaking things. That will prevent that from happening and it will also prevent these little angels from becoming tangled. These bag sealers are not very expensive, and if you do craft fairs, it really would be beneficial if you did purchase one. They're also wonderful if you're going to make specialty teas or chocolates for family members at Christmas. It comes in very handy. I tend to be very frugal, so I can make these bags go a long way, which will make my money go a long way. Thank you so much for joining me for tea today. Please like, subscribe, please share the channel with your friends and hit the like button, help my channel to grow, and the notification button for upcoming thrifts and crafts. We are now on Instagram, but most of all, have a delightful and joy-filled day.